So you're going to give your first webinar? Great. I put together a series of short videos that should get you pointed in the right direction with tips, advice, and best practices that'll help you avoid common mistakes I've seen in more than 15 years of working with business webinars. Before we get into specifics, though, let me take a moment to set the stage and make sure we're talking about the same thing. I'm going to assume you're planning to give a live, interactive presentation with an audience listening to you while you speak. Recorded presentations are great. You can do a lot with the recording you make of your live webinar, but I don't count a recording as a webinar itself. The word webinar came from the idea of a seminar held on the web. Well, a seminar by definition invites discussion of the topic. It involves interaction between the presenter and the audience. If a college professor records a class, it's no longer a seminar, it's a lecture. I want to make that distinction because my tips are going to be geared towards giving a live, interactive event on the web. There are different tips you can find out there for making good recorded lectures. When you're thinking about planning and delivering a webinar, there are different areas of responsibility for different tasks. Somebody needs to do the administrative work of scheduling the webinar in the webinar software. Somebody needs to do marketing and promotion. Somebody needs to give the presentation. Somebody needs to take care of technical tasks like managing the recording and running attendance reports. In big organizations, you might have lots of people working on the different pieces. There can be entire marketing departments devoted just to writing promotional copy and doing ad layouts and making media buys. In a small business, you might need to do everything yourself, but you're still gonna hit all those different requirements. So some of my tips will be about behind-the-scenes administration, and some will be about presentation skills and interacting with your audience. I separated the tips so you can find the ones you're interested in. Okay, that's enough preface. Let's get to the good stuff. I'd suggest starting with my tips on initial planning, because that's going to impact administrators and presenters. You can click here for that video. But if you want to jump around on your own, you can always go to the index of available videos. See you in the tips.